good one, right? <sighs> okay, good. Yeah, that's good. Are all the doors locked? <sighs> Did you lock the door, Billy? Yes. <sighs> Keep this house barricaded. Lock all doors. All right, let's get locking all doors. Barricade some windows too. Oh, fuck. Ah! No one in here. We're good. Shit, we got all this food in here. I'm a good kitty. No one. Definitely not going out in the garage. We'll save the food for later. <sighs> Gotta lock some doors. Yeah. There we go. Wait a minute. Looks like there's someone out there. Probably just my imagination playing tricks with me. Lock the door? Okay, I did. Get a hold of yourself, Billy. Get a hold of yourself. It's probably just the explosion. Just probably dead bodies I'm seeing. Lock some doors. That one's locked. I'm gonna be checking the doors. That's locked. It's dark over here. That one's locked. Got the pantry. Hmm. Hmm. Guys didn't lock this door. I swear to God he closed it. Mm-hmm. Alright. Locked. It's dark. I'll just take one peek. Food! Food! Oh, look at all this food! Some honey! Oil! Anything we can use for cooking! Oh my god! What's that smell? You okay? Yeah, don't go in the pantry, okay? Oh, I saw the pantry. There's so much food in there. Oh my god, it's like a living dream. I know, but no more going in the pantry, okay? No, just no more, okay? The door will stay locked all the time, okay? And if you smell something uh, very um, uh, putrid, then um, uh, it's probably your butt, okay? All right. Okay. So I'm going to put you down right here. Hopefully you're, you're okay, Joe. You're Billy's favorite buddy. Come on, wake up! Probably the best thing to do is to probably pour water on him. Oh, let's cover here. Not that much water. Just probably a little that can wake him up. That's probably enough. You okay? Come on. I know you're awake. Oh, God! What just hit me? What the hell? Oh, my God, I'm bleeding. No, it was just water I poured on you. Oh, thanks for waking me up, bro. Um, what happened again? I can't remember what happened. Wait a minute. Where am I? Rocco. Motherfucker. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Get off me! Stop! Stop! Hey, look at me! Stop! We're getting along, it's okay. Billy and talk to Rocco. We're all okay. We're getting along. Let go of me. Okay. Okay, Rocco? Oh, God, he's so rude sometimes. What happened? You were hit by him. No, 
That's very weird. Oh well. I'm gonna get back to my work. Surprisingly, he didn't know that uh, I was talking. Or, he was there. Right. Let's look everywhere. We're gonna look under and, and over. See if we can find anything. Anything. Understand that? Yeah, I guess so. I smell something very putrid. You know what? I smell something very putrid too. Here's the plan. There's some dead bodies in the pantry. What? Yeah, when you were looking for food, you didn't realize those seven dead bodies just laying in the middle of the the, the, the floor. On the floor, even. I just filling up the whole house. I might as well go wrap them up. That's good, because that's very funny. I can smell something very putrid around the kitchen and the, the living room, too. Like I said, let's search high and low for anything we can find. Alright, let's see if I can find anything. No, just coffee. Yeah, regular coffee. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, we're gonna look around for anything. That putrid smell's getting on my nerves. Well, let's look everywhere. Come on. It's weird. Anything putrid, it could be just be the pantry or something else. Nothing. Hmm. Nothing. Probably just be me, or am I smelling something putrid? Oh, God, it's coming from there. I don't have the balls to open that thing. Well, I must gather, gather up all my courage. His cabin, cabinet, and shot himself and stabbed him in his his self in the leg. His eyes are wide open. I don't think he's gonna live. No, Topper. Why would you just find you so easily? Why did you do this to yourself? No. Topper, no! I'm sorry. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. No, Topper. You're the other one that didn't survive. You were my best friend, Topper. John, will you take the body of the pantry with the rest of them? I don't have the balls to do it. Alright. Come on, buddy. It's okay, Topper. 
Everything's gonna be okay. So sorry. You may now go with the rest. You all know Chopper, right? Yeah, he's dead. Billy told all of us. <sighs> Poor Billy. <sighs> Billy, leave me alone, please. Okay. But now, we just gotta figure out what the hell just happened here. I mean, what the hell just happened? All those dead bodies, and even Chopper. What happened here? Must be you. Me? Yeah, you're the one who had all this to do with the nuclear explosion, or we could be stranded on some unknown planet. Not my fault. We could be on Jupiter. We could be on Saturn. We could even be on one of the dwarf planets. None of us have the balls to go out there. It's all your fault. Don't feel guilty for yourself, just look at yourself! You should be ashamed of yourself. Now that my friend just lost another friend, you should think of your shame! Shame on you. Jeez. It's okay, Billy. Well, it is the truth. You shouldn't feel guilty for yourself. Look what you've done to the world. What have you done to the world? You destroyed it. Just think of all the damage you've caused in. All the dead bodies. You must have caused them. And for that... I'm not just mad, I'm disappointed! It is your fault. I don't know if we should go as a group, or should we leave her behind? Don't leave me behind! I helped you with all this! You were the one who came up with the plan. You destroyed the world! I don't even know. We could be on some random planet! Just like John said, I'm on his side. I'm gonna have to agree with John. I'm gonna have to agree with Chloe and John. Yes. Yes, that's it. Agree with me. Wait, 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 wait. You should feel very, very, very shame of yourself. Yeah, you should. I know I did destroy the world, but it was for private policies only. Yeah, but you shouldn't feel guilty for yourself. You killed everyone in this world. Is something wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. We almost got into an accident out there. We just lost a, a random close friend that we just met. Got freaking pulled apart, bone to bone. No. Let me have some alone time. Huh. Jesus Christ. I do need a lot of alone time. Put all my friends up there. Very disappointed in me. I can't give away the private policy. How did this start? One of
of us is gone. I should be ashamed of myself. Oh, just look at me. I know I did that, but someone has gotten to know the alien outbreak. It could just start off. I don't know the alien outbreak, and I should feel ashamed of myself. I know. Very ashamed of myself. Look at me. What can I do? Do you know how this started? What? Puzzle? Since I've blown up the earth, four puzzle pieces are all around this place? Around me close. A riddle? Riddles are in each puzzle piece? Yes, it is? Huh. I must find these puzzle pieces and I must stop the alien outbreak. Thank you. Thank you very much. Who's she talking to? Huh, that's weird. What is she talking to? What's wrong? She's talking to herself. She's coming. Pretend you're talking. I know the alien outbreak. You do? I know how it all started. I know. One of us in this team knows it and knows how to solve the puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces, right? Yes, puzzle pieces! Those puzzle pieces have riddles, you know that. Yes, those riddles lead to good luck that could save the world! We could save the world doing those riddles. And also, we need to find those puzzle pieces. Yes! I've had the spirit talk to me before. I've known it. I've known that it was started. I was the first one to notice that this started. Bright, shiny morning. I, me, which is my body, will lead to the puzzle pieces. We will solve the riddles. I know how this started, and I know how it went. That's exactly why. Oh shit, he's talking about the moon. He left the moon? He did. He left me. I did. Because I knew something bad was going to happen between me and you after what you did. Since ever you blew up the world, those puzzle pieces have scattered around the world. But somehow close to us, close to you, the chosen one, me? Yes. You're the chosen one from the spirits of the ancients. Now, you are the handler of the puzzles. Whoever took over the world is the chosen one. And that leads to you. Me? You're the chosen one. You know. Tell us! Yeah, come on, tell us! Yeah, you must tell us! Oh, oh, man. I have to see her, I have to hear this! I don't know. Don't gather around her! The 
puzzles and riddles must be solved first. I will take you to them tomorrow. Somehow my head knows where they are. But we must crush the souls. There are four spirits out there. Which is the third spirit that's talking to you is the good spirit. The third spirit doesn't count. But he's one of the ancients. But there's another soul that's replaced it with the third one. He's not a good one. Each riddle that we solve, solve, and each puzzle that we put together puts the ancient back in the place where it belongs. I know this. You know this. But I'll lead you bright and early in the morning. Just remember one thing. Me and you are both in common and noticing. And what's that? Come on, tell us! Yeah, yeah, yeah! I don't know, I don't have it in my head! I do. Once the puzzles and riddles are solved, all the ancients are put back where they belong, we must burn the puzzle. The portal will take us to a furnace, where we will burn the puzzle. Once it's burnt, the ancients are gone, and the third one is free. We must get to work.